Okay, we're going to do the front brakes, front disc brakes on the 2006 Canyon. There's a couple, the reason I'm doing this video, there is some issues on, you know, that's different than others. Number one is you can't get the rotor off without taking the hub off. And to take the hub off, it's got ABS with it. You have to take this cable off, which goes in the back. And once you've, once you've got that figured out, you've got four bolts behind here, behind, which have to come out, as well as the caliper bracket. So it's not, it's not like the normal ones. So I really uh, strongly recommend to take a, a, a bunch of pictures of the harness in its position because it, it looks pretty straightforward until you go to put it back together after an hour or two. So take lots of pictures, that's easy to do. So we'll remove the caliper bracket. So that's pretty straightforward. So. I've got the caliper bracket off and I'm um, going to take the harness off now and as I said you take a lot of pictures before you do this and it makes it easier in the end. Over here we're just going to pry this out. We could take this all off. Well, some may object to prying that little clamp and just take the whole thing off, but I found quite often that, well, not quite often, but uh, often enough that the, the bolt breaks. So this way the bolt, bolt won't be taken out and the bracket will stay in place and you just squeeze it in when you put it back. And once you get all the little uh, plastic fittings out and you can bring the connector out to the front, you can unhook the harness and and it's not a problem anymore. You just have to be careful with it, of course, and then thread it through when you take the hub out. So I'm just gonna disconnect it, and um, that's that. Now again, this is pretty straightforward. I'm going to uh, take out the four bolts that hold the hub in, and that, that one bottom one, I, I found it better if I, I broke it free with a bar first. The other side, I didn't have to do that. and I impact the uh, bolts out again. That's straightforward. I'd like to keep these as brief, these videos as brief as possible. You, you can do this. This is very easy, and you know, I like to use an impact gun to, to remove them. And uh, that's that. So here comes the trick. You need a air hammer. You need someone to grab the, this. This may look like it's going to damage some threads on, uh, you know, the worst can be is a little bit of damage on the bolt head. I've tried to damage threads on uh, waste parts and it, it, you can't damage them. It, it really works well. Yeah. So this has to be fed gently in as this comes. On the wire. So that's how you take the hub off. Now you're free to unbolt the disc and replace it or machine it or change the hub or whatever you were going to do with this operation. So we'll thread the harness through the backing plate and put the the new rotor in place. And then we got the new rotor in position. So I sped it up a little bit here. I don't want to waste anybody's time because this is a matter of spinning the bolts up with a 17 mil impact socket. And uh, I will later, once the uh, hub is reinstalled, uh, torque it to specifications again while it's on the truck. It's a lot easier to do it then. And I'll do both at the same time. Time to thread the harness through the steering knuckle. Again, try not to catch it on anything. So this was a little more struggle than it looked like here. I've kind of got the power of editing 
Uh, but you have to make sure that harness wire and the bolt holes line right up, and then it will go in like it just did there. But as I said, it, it all wasn't four bolts there. started. Yeah, once I get the bolts started, I run them up with an impact wrench and then torque them. So take your time and put the harness back. Uh, properly and all those pitches you took at the beginning uh, they'll probably come in handy because there's a couple ways it can go it, and uh, you'll see me check my smartphone in a minute and uh, make sure I got it right yeah just get the the connection to the ABS and then you know how it is you jam your hand down and put them right back in their s slot so we uh, torque the caliper bracket once that was done, we installed the caliper with new pads. So I've got new pads, new rotor. Once both sides were double checked, we put the wheels on, road tested it, and delivered it to the customer. Thank you very much for watching.